Today's classic, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, I'll be showing you a simple rhythm with walk down and walks up to create a bass line. It's a super chilled pace, so there's loads of space in there for you to sing along if you so desire. There are elements of what I've put into this lesson that may be aimed more at experienced beginners with slightly more technical elements of hammer-ons for the intro and the outro. See how you get on. different sections of this song are the intro, the verses and choruses, the middle section and the outro. I'll be starting with the verse and chorus. The chords we need for that are G, B7, C, A. We need an E also. The verse Chorus. We begin with the G chord by playing the E string and then the remaining five strings downwards. We have a walk up to the B7. So from the G chord position, we replay the top note. We take our hands off the G chord, we play the up and A string, we play the first fret of the A string, and with our middle finger ready for the B7 chord, we play the second fret of the A string. We strum that and then in the meantime we put our fingers onto the B7 chord shape and strum the remaining four strings. Slow down. Sit We're then walking to a C chord by taking our middle finger off the A string, play up an A, play the second fret A and then the third fret A which is the root note of the C chord so keep that down. In the meantime place your first two fingers down to complete the C chord and strum the rest of that chord. We then walk down from the C, so we play the 3rd fret A string, 2nd fret A string, 1st fret A string, walk into the A chord, up an A, rest of the strings. We now go back to the beginning G chord by way of up an A, up an E to take us to the G chord again. Watching the ships rolling We again We now 
now return back to the G chord for what is the chorus by way of a bass line, A, E, open strings, sitting on the dark of the bay, watching the tide roll away. So we have E string, where we're playing the G chord, we strum the remainder of the strings. We return to the E string and play the third fret, second fret, first fret, open string. And as we do that, this chromatic walk down takes us to the E chord. So we move our fingers on our fretting hand to the E major shape. We play the open E string and then the remainder of the strings. We then play up, down, and again. The third time we do the G again, but now we're going to an A major chord. So we play E string, third fret, take the finger off to play up an E string, put it back onto the third fret to play the G. Take the hand off the fretting hand, play the open A string, and then in the meantime, put our fingers into the A major shape and strum the remaining four strings of the A major. The bass line that takes us to the final two chords of the chorus is the open A, open E, G chord, strum, and then the chromatic walk down we did last time on the E string. The chorus now, sitting on the dark of the bay. The song now repeats exactly what we've just done for verse two and chorus two. After that, we have this classic middle section. Looks like nothing's gonna change. So I guess I remain the same. Start on the G chord, we have two downs, change to D, down, up, down, change to C, down, up, 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 down, G, G, D, C. The third time we do G, C, G. Then we're on Fs, for which point we'll just do down strums. So I guess I read. And then D, main the same. We now arrive at verse 3 and chorus 3. They are exactly the same format as the previous verses and chorus. After we get to this point in the song, it's the iconic whistling outro. So what I'm gonna do now is show you something a little bit more technical that I like to do. Firstly, the intro, and then for the outro. If you are unable, yet, yet, if you are unable, yet, to do what I'm about to show you, then just stick to strumming a G chord for the intro. Now the intro, I like to spice up a little bit so I can get this element of the bass line in there. Mm -hmm. 
I start off with the G chord, play the E string and a light down up on the highest three or even four strings. I then take these three fingers off and slide my first finger up to the third fret. I play that and then hammer on to fret five with my third finger. It's a really quick hammer on. So you only momentarily hear that note on the third fret. I then play an up strum on the G string, open G string. It's a fun way to play the intro to that song. It just gives it a little bit more character, so I enjoy it much more. The outro to the song is similar. The outro is the classic whistling bit. You change to an E chord as well. So you play the G chord once, twice, three times, at which point we go to the E chord. Do the same thing, but this time we're gonna hammer on the middle finger, which is on the A string open string to second fret and up strum the D string which has your third finger on it. And you do that once. To play the outro all together example of how the whistling fits in there I will sing a little bit of it for you I'm not going to try and whistle if you are not yet ready to be able to play the hammer-ons for the outro You can just do on the G, down, down, up, down, down, up, three times, and then on the fourth time, move to the E major chord, down, down, up, down, down, up, once. Now you're in the mood for a classic song, have a look at Lean On Me in this next video here. I'll see you next time.